Reading I Ching Modesty Change of Lines Each line of modesty symbolizes a different level of modesty. The first line of modesty is Yin. At the first step of the reality, the line teaches us that we should lower ourselves. Although it may not be true for all cases, oftentimes people envy those who have more than themselves, and instinctively keep some distance from them. On the other hand, people tend to care for, and teach those who they think are in a lesser position than themselves. This line of the hexagram tells you, that you should refrain from showing off and boasting about what you have, but should be willing to accept that there are always some things that you do not have, and learn what you do not know already. The second line is also yin. Even if you lower yourself, and do not show off what you have, it does not make you forgotten from people. As long as you keep dealing with every little task in a sincere manner, you will receive appropriate amount of reward and acknowledgement that you deserve. Those who boast of what they have, need to prove at some point that what they say is true, but if you have been faithfully doing your work without exaggeration, you will be noticed favorably without additional effort to convince others of your ability, and will someday become the core person that others depend on, before you realize it. The third is the line of Yang. Being modest and humble, does not mean that you should not exert your own abilities. It simply means that you should not boast your own abilities, as more than what you actually have, and should not try to promote yourself higher than what you really deserve. If you are sincere of your work, and do your best in every task you take charge in, no matter how big or small it may be, more and more people will come to trust your ability and follow you, even when you do not intentionally advertise your own abilities in big words. From the fourth line and above, all the lines are filled with the power of yin. We will try to decode the meaning of the upper trigram, by comparing each line with the corresponding line in the lower one in a different perspective. Now we get to the fourth line of yin. In the first line, modesty was described as lowering oneself, and being willing to accept other people's opinions. However, you do not need to accept and follow everything unconditionally, without your own subjective judgment. Before you accept something, you should always ask yourself whether it is a really right thing to do. And if you conclude that it does not seem to be right, when you look at it objectively, you had better reject it in a decisive manner. The fifth one is line of yin. The second line said, that if you show sincere manners in everything you do, people would take highly of you, and you will be entrusted with more and more important jobs, but in reality, you may often find that the opposite is also true. Because you seem like a pushover, people simply use you for their own benefit, and abandon you without giving any reward. Old sayings may say that modesty is a virtue, but it does not mean that you have to obey such people unconditionally. Sometimes you need to show those people, that you have the power to turn the table if you want. The last line is yin. The third line told you, that you will be recognized if you keep a modest attitude, and keep on doing your best in everything you take charge in, but not everything goes as you have planned. The reason however, may not necessarily be the fault of others, as explained in the fifth line. Maybe you may have a desire greater than you deserve, or maybe you are not as capable as what you think you are. It is also an important aspect of modesty, to take some time to look back, and reflect upon yourself.